How's everybody doing? Let's tell us about Wyoming. What do you know about your Wyoming? Yeah, um, you know, their head coach is a an old school, you know, fundamental football, um, hard nosed guy, and and it breeds throughout his his team, his roster, his his offense. You know, they want to run the football first. Uh, like to get downhill, they'll use bigger personnel groupings, especially on early downs, uh, to try to establish the run game. Um, they do a good job of mixing up zone and gap schemes. Um, you know, they they don't put the ball in jeopardy um, when they do put it in the air. You know, they're quick, concise reads. I uh, like to get the ball out on the perimeter, you know, with, with sprint outs and, and nakeds and, and get the quarterback out of the pocket a little bit. Um, so they do a good job. Their their run game matches up with their play action game. Um, and they do a, a, a really good job of, of mixing up personnel groupings and, and trying to get you to um, have to match those those groupings and be able to get into different pictures out of those different personnel. Can you tell me all the, the quarterback potential Utah State, what are you yeah, I've seen Utah State film. Um, you know, he is athletic. He can extend plays with his legs. Um, he's got a quick delivery. It seems like when he knows where to go with the ball, he gets it out on time and he's accurate. Um, you know, and that's that's sort of what we've seen from the, the catalog of film we've, we've gotten from Utah State. How did you start in your defense? The guys who are older, who played here before, like Zeke, Kendall, mm-hmm. You know, just to, to see what we've been seeing in practice, just the consistency of playing, play in and play out um, and just doing their job. You know, that first game, you know, there's going to be jitters. Um, you know, guys have the tendency to go try to find plays instead of letting the game come to them. Uh, so that'll be something that we preach to our guys defensively is, is just let the game come to you as it, as it does. You know, make the plays you're supposed to make. Um, and just do your job. I mean, that's that's what they've been doing all fall camp. Uh, and so, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing a clean game. You know, obviously you worry a little bit about tackling that first week, but, um, you know, we've done a good job in, in scrimmage situations of, of getting guys down and um, and playing fast. And so that's that's what we're looking for um, from a staff standpoint on, on what to expect from the players. Training camp help you maybe resolve some of those starting positions that you have to fill and how you've kind of yeah, I mean, I you know I think I, I like the core group of guys we got. You know, we're running with the ones and and the twos. Um, you know, we've seen improvement from guys that we needed to see improvement from, and and guys are playing fast and, and communicating and um, and executing at a high level. And you know, that's that's what we're looking for, and that's that's what we've we've gotten coming out of fall camp. Yeah, you know, you, you, so you tend to look at more scheme than you do actual production. Um, you know, they've stayed pretty true to their identity over the, over the years, even with some staff turnover. Um, and so that's what we've been looking for is, you know, what what are we getting out of certain personnel groupings? What type of plays do they like to run out of certain sets? Um, and, you know, the, they, they'll plug in play guys, you know, that are that are new or um, inexperienced on the roster. Um, but, I, I, you know, I'd be hard-pressed to believe that, uh, their identity is going to change a whole lot. And so that's what we've been focusing on. Yeah, we feel good. And, you know, Coach Jameson's done a great job of of mixing those guys in and um, really developing those new guys and, and getting them to play with the, the type of technique and fundamentals that we play with on a consistent basis. Um, you know, those – uh, we're, I'm glad that those two guys are on our roster and they've they've added depth and added some competition and in, uh, into that room and that's elevated the level of play in that room uh, and I'm excited to watch them play this fall. There's a lot of you know props and potential what Keith and Johnny you know, can be like those spots. Just what I don't know, what do you expect from what do you kind of see is what they can achieve? Yeah, I expect Keith and Johnny just to be Keith and Johnny. You know, we don't need them to be any more or any less. Um, you know. What, how they play and, and who they are, are are plenty good enough for what we need them to do defensively. Um, you know, they add experience. They add some co- uh, competitiveness to that room. Um, both of them are, are very athletic, very strong, um, and they got to they got to win and own the line of scrimmage uh, for us to be successful defensively. And so we're counting on them to to you know shoulder the a, a lot of that weight uh, for us and 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 be stalwarts for us up up the middle. Talking about Kevin, you talk about your ability. To- 
think can be successful with what, what's your philosophy in managing people as, as a leader of people? You know, I just to, to be myself and um, to be genuine and, and be consistent, I think that uh, that goes a long way. Um, you know, I'm not afraid to voice my opinion, but I'm also um, seeking out counsel and, and advice. Um, so, you know, I, I feel like I'm a fairly good listener in that aspect. Um, and I've been I've been blessed to be surrounded with great people, you know, from top to bottom. You know, Coach B has done an awesome job with this staff. Um, we make each other better uh, every day. You know, it's it's been a, a joy to go against. I, I say a joy, but it's been you know it's been a joy to go against our offense every day. You know, they they've challenged us, um, and we've challenged them. And there's there's been some healthy back and forth this fall camp, uh, which is what you want to see. You know, as a as a as a program, um, and then the guys in our room. You know, it's it's very little that I have to manage. Um, you know, they've there's there's no egos. There's um, you know, high football IQ, high high character guys. Uh, so it's a it's an it's an easy room to manage. Um, but I, you know, I, I do think that uh, just being genuine, being authentic, uh, being who you are consistently every day goes a long ways for for guys that are are trying to follow you. Mm-hmm. Uh, guy like Andy who's got a lot of DC experience. Kevin's got DC experience. Mm-hmm. On paper, some people might think that could be an issue. Why why has that not been an issue for you, or why have you embraced? It? Uh, you know, I'm a confident person. I, I'm not ever looking over my shoulder. I'm confident in, in my abilities, and that's what's gotten me to this to this point in my career. Um, and so I, I looked at it as as a, a bonus to having that kind of experience, that kind of expertise, uh, to try to, to continue to learn. You know, as a as a young play caller, um, was for, it was important for me at, at that point and juncture in my career to continue to grow, and and that was one of the main reasons that I was attracted to this opportunity. Um, and it's been the best career move I've, I've ever made just because I am getting fed and, and I am growing as a, as a, uh, a defensive play caller and, and, and like you said, a manager. Um, and, and those guys are, are, you know, helpful and pivotal in that aspect. Titus Swain is your feature back this year. Over eight, or almost 800 yards right what kind of back is he? What are some challenges for the defense to slow him down? Yeah, he's hard to bring bring down. You know, he he does a good job of following the tracks of his offensive linemen. Um, you know, he's a one cut, get vertical guy. Um, you know, he's got low center of gravity, a wide base. Uh, so we're gonna have to do a good job of wrapping him up and having a high level pursuit to the football. Vegas probably the most important change as you transition from three weeks of camp to two games. The biggest. Um, You know, you know, I'd say getting into game week, you know, it's it's almost like you treat it like a bye because you've had extra time to prepare for Wyoming, um, and so the you know the focal point on um, actually game planning, you know, the, into this this next week or, or starting you know the, a week ago, um, that definitely changes through fall camp, right? You know, the start of fall camp, you're just installing your defense. Um, you know, they're, you're going through the ins and outs of all the calls, all the checks. And just really focusing on your craft as a unit and also um, positionally. Then as you get to the season, now it's, okay, what are, what are we trying to stop from our opponent? You know, what are the sort of uh, things that, that we like versus you know, certain personnel groupings and, and we don't like versus per- certain personnel groupings? Um, and, and really diving into more situational football, like what are you doing in third downs in the red area? Um, you know, how do they operate in two minutes? Um, you get more game plan specific as you get closer to game week. Maybe it'll be like number two or below on the depth chart if they press the level that they have. Is there a way you go about trying to incorporate them in the game board and other armor? Veteran and experienced players to have them? You no, know, you know, in in my mind, you got your your starters and those guys are gonna play, you know. Um, you know, Sidney Brown is gonna play until Sidney Brown can't play, you know what I mean? Um, and if the game allows or or it, it's needed that Matt goes in there, then he's, in my mind, he's ready to go. Um, so those guys got to prepare like they're starters. Um, but having a, a set rotation in, in my room specifically, um, there, there is no set rotation. It's the, the guys that are, are going to gonna play. Um, and if and if somebody needs a blow or, or something happens, then the next guy's got to be ready to go in there. Yeah. 
Yeah, I've been really pleased what uh, Coach Henry's been able to do with that group. And, and to that group's credit, they've really answered the bell. Um, there's been a lot of healthy competition. Um, you know, guys like Taz, guys like T. Strain, and then some younger guys um, that have really stepped up and, and tried to push the envelope. Um, and so, you know, the, the experience out of that particular spot might not be there from an in-game standpoint, um, but they've had a lot of reps throughout the course of spring and, and fall camp. Um, and they've played good football. And so I'm excited to, to see those guys get the opportunity to, uh, to play some meaningful downs and um, get some quality in-game reps, and, and hopefully they'll, they'll play at a high level. Anything else for Coach? Cool. Thanks.